I'd like to speak about the first chapter of the Bible, Genesis, uh, the beginning. And um, I want to take a look at how God made the universe. In the first verses of the Bible, it says that God created the heavens and the earth. And the earth was formless and void, and darkness was over the face of the deep. And then God let, said, let there be light. So, everything that God made was like a clock. Because if you read on, it talks about how he hung lights in the skies to mark the seasons. Now, when I speak about things in the Bible, I realize that many things are mysterious. God hid a lot of things. He didn't tell us everything about how he created the universe. But I have a suspicion. There's two different clocks that we use for time. Um, to keep a calendar, there's a such thing as the solar calendar, which we use. The solar calendar is based on the sun and us going around the sun. Now, of course, as the earth turns, right, we have days. And the days are 365 days all the way around the sun to make one year. Now, the moon, the moons that we have come around to have a full moon every so many months. And it also marks a year. But the two calendars are off. A solar calendar and a lunar calendar are different from one another. And this is my point. I believe that before Adam and Eve sinned and the world fell, that this clock was perfect and that the solar and the lunar calendar matched. So time itself was not off. It's like having two clocks in the house. I have two clocks. One clock says 1024 and the other one says 1025. One on the microwave and one on the stove. And I have another clock that says, you know, whatever time. So what I think happened here is God had a perfectly synchronous clock that was broken by the fall. And this is why we have the solar and the lunar calendar being um, not in sync when, with one another. I believe that if there was no fall or that this earth was not corrupted to begin with, that there would be a perfect harmony between the solar and lunar calendar. And indeed, I believe when the new earth and the new heavens, which I believe they're not just going to be a heaven, but there's going to be a new earth, probably a whole new universe. He's going to roll everything up and start over again. And when he makes the new heaven and a new earth, everything will be according to perfection, running the clock, perfection running the, 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 that new universe. Anyway, I kind of wanted to know your thoughts on that. And I want to build on that because I really do believe that that uh, it ties into the message of Christ. You see, the clock was broken by Adam, and it's being repaired by grace through Jesus Christ. Take care. Have a good day.